since, since morning we have been listening the various digital initiatives being taken, platform being used, new initiative at the government other level, uh, the new things or the new initiatives uh, <coughs> that has been taken place and how the things are being moving. But uh, as being rightly said by Mr. Bhavan also, security is the equally important component that has to be looked upon. And uh, I endorse the uh, idea of Mr. Bhavan that yes, we are still a lot of work to be done on the regulatory and legality side of it. But one thing is there that uh, we should not be that much scary about the using it. See like uh, impact can be only minimized. But uh, we have uh, we have taken sufficient step to secure our information and data. Uh, we can work uh, very well and can continue towards the digitalization part of it. And as uh, being said that for this, a cyber space is required. And cyber space is a complex environment consisting of interactions between the people, software, and services, and being supported by the worldwide uh, distribution of the information and technology devices and networks. Being in the public sector in the government, we are more dependent upon our CII, critical information infrastructure, and being uh, in the IT side, this is our prime responsibility that since these CII are interconnected, interdependent, complex, and distributed across the geographical locations, we have to take care and sufficient steps or the sufficient uh, information or precautions has to be taken and plans are to be placed that in case something has happened or some cyber attack has taken place, how to combat? The most important thing is that immediately to recognize it, to identify it and restore the situation. That should be the step. So like 100% cannot be there, but only thing is that to immediate to how fast we can able to identify it, how fast we can able to recognize it and how far fast we can able to restore the situation so that the things can continue. So like, uh, we will just say that uh, from the DHL side, uh, we are having the enterprise risk management ERM system that exists in uh, there and cyber security has been identified as one of the top 10 risks in the board. So when such things are being driven from the top driven, definitely its effectiveness across the organization, across the enterprise will be more effective. So that way has to be taken. Similarly, one more initiatives like ISMS, Information Security Management System, is but one such initiative uh, in which uh, way back in 2005, uh, we have identified all our locations, manufacturing units, regions, power sector regions and ROD's that so now presently in all our 23 locations, all the sites have been uh, certified with the latest version of ISO 27001-2013 and is in this journey, uh, we are uh, very much thankful to the government uh, organization like STQC who have been right from beginning with us, guided us and uh, made our this security curve mature to that extent that uh, every year when they are coming for the audits, besides our internal audits which we regularly do or fairly, uh, we are building up on our maturity, security maturity curve. Similarly, like uh, as, if, as, as for the recommendations of the uh, DHI Ministry of this, that a organization crisis management group, CMG is there at the organization and the crisis management plan across uh, the corporation, uh, the corporate, besides this we are having the CMG plan at all our manufacturing unit in line with the directives as given by DHI Ministry of uh, Information Technology that these are in line with that, that in case of any attack, how to come back and uh, how to come back about the cyber attack and cyber terrorism. So this CMP crisis management plan will take care for that. Uh, all these things have been laid that in case of such attack, how to react, where to report, who is the person to be identified, how the case is to be reported to the uh, corporate, then to the government and what proactive actions or what immediate actions are to be taken place that are all well defined, laid, even persons are there to whom to be contacted, all such things are there. Besides this, as far as uh, requirement by the National Cyber Security Policy, uh, we have also developed a trained workforce. Around uh, 200 uh, our internal executives have been trained with the help of STQC and other uh, such organizations uh, on the lead assessors, on the uh, audit side that 
they will be regularly auditing our systems, infrastructure, critical information that uh, how these can be protected from outside attacks or the cyber attacks. Besides this, we can say that uh, we have been uh, uh, regularly doing the uh, regularly participating in the certain work drills. This will be further updating our uh, hardening or mechanisms of the server or the system side such that we are updated and hardened our systems from the latest type of attacks or cyber attacks on the systems. Uh, I am happy to further say that uh, VHL being the first PSU who has been complied on the IP6 requirement uh, for all our internet facing systems and servers. And uh, besides this regular uh, penetration test and vulnerability test, PT and BA, we have been doing this. Uh, uh, for the particularly PT, third party uh, government and panel vendors are there. Through them, we are uh, uh, regularly on the yearly basis doing the penetration test and whatever uh, weaknesses or whatever uh, loopholes or the plagues are there, those have been removed and it will be circulated across the corporation so that uh, same thing if found at one place cannot be repeated or it to be hardened at the other location also so that as a whole one corporation will be taking care of all such initiatives. Uh, uh, also that comprehensive database audits of, uh, we have uh, internally formed a cross functional teams those who are regularly doing the database audits also and all the, all the systems also on the regular basis so that uh, we update our systems and critical info information infrastructures from the latest attacks or from the latest vulnerabilities that may come across with the more uh, going on toward the mobility side of it, with more going on the website of it, uh, all such things will be taken care and I hope that uh, these types of things may be uh, they are all in other organizations, in other public sectors also and if you take care of such and after doing a fast uh, take up on the regulatory and uh, legality side of it, uh, definitely uh, each one of us can really enjoy the fruits of the digitalization and the new digital initiative for which uh, Vision has been set for India and uh, I hope that uh, this uh, will be definitely uh, getting the benefits of it.